when we know when lightning protection systems are properly installed, they are scientifically proven to mitigate those risks of a lightning strike. So when we look at this process, it's really important not only that we follow the process, but that we use qualified individuals and that we follow the national standards for lightning protection systems. This process consists of five steps, assessment, specification, installation, inspection, and maintenance. The first step is assessment. And this is where we are aligned with IIII's recommendation to predict your risks. We can look at a pulse density map and determine the likelihood of a lightning strike in your area. Equally as important to location is what's happening inside that building. Is that building used for critical services in your community? Are they producing products or services that people rely on? For business owners, we would say, what is the impact to your bottom line if you are non-operational for a few days or for a few weeks if you get struck by lightning? The next part in the process is specification. This is a detailed outline of what the design will be for that system, what materials are used, and what people are used. And after the specification is complete, there'll be the installation. And that installation should utilize certified lightning protection contractors because they know the process and they follow that national standard. Then there's the inspection. And the LPI recommends a third party inspection. Because when we use a third party, we get an objective review of the system and we're able to ensure that proper function. The LPI IP is the most comprehensive inspection program in the industry. It requires photo verification as well as an extensive checklist. It's the fifth and final part of the process, and that's maintenance. And maintenance to any system helps the viability of the system on a long-term basis. Anyone can go to the LPI website lightning.org and you can take a look at this process you could also look at how those components are used together to protect a building but most importantly you can go to this website and find a local contractor who can answer your questions as well as help you start the process